All right, this is an interesting topic for me. This is. Nintendo just uh, announced during E3 right at the end. This will give you a little bonus besides your 1,000 thousand, thousand Smash bonus. characters. And Sakurai not be able to have a, have a social life anymore. Now, the, archi- the arcade archives, which has been getting off and running on the Switch, they, had the, they released the what, Punch-Out arcade. So, Arch- um, yeah, Arcade Archives uh, started doing the NES games. They've also done all the Neo Geo games, and then they've done they've done a bunch of Neo Geo games and a bunch of non. They just keep releasing tons of stuff. So this is a momentous occasion for two different reasons, what they just announced. So for the, fir- for the first time ever, ever in 37 years, you're going to have the original Donkey Kong arcade game available from Nintendo. Yep. I will say, I'll repeat that. The first time Donkey Kong, the original arcade game, is going to be made available. Not a ROM hack, not a shitty NES version of it. The, the actual arcade game. Yep. And you'll get the original version, the which was full of bugs, I guess. The original Japanese version, the later uh, bug-fixed version, and you'll get the international version, which is the one that was released in the United States. That's the one we all know. High score mode, so I'm guessing they'll, have a, they'll be tracking that. That'd be cool. Yep. Um, what's a caravan mode? What is that? Caravan mean? mode is, so every release done by Hamster in the Arcade Archive series across all of the versions that they release has um, a high score mode, which they pick the version that they consider the most competitive between Japanese or U.S. This will probably use uh, international. Um, and that's just your high score on one credit. And then Caravan is uh, a timed mode, just like the Caravan shooters that Hudson used to do. Oh, so it's how many points can you get? In, in a, like a three-minute time run, usually. So that's really, you know, you're, you're busting up barrels, you're, you're, you're risk-reward versus it, getting the hammers. It doesn't make as much sense for some games, but they include it for just, every single just game for they release. Giggles. Why yeah. not? Every, every game they release has a Caravan mode. So this is... This is I think I think this should be a bigger deal, man, this than what probably wouldn't care. Oh, Donkey Kong... I, now this is I, huge. This I, is this is very big. I mean, it's I, 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 there's never been in my to my knowledge an official complete arcade ROM release. No, people were saying, "Well, it was on the like Donkey Kong 64." Is like, oh, but that was like that wasn't the actual arcade game. No. So, and this is Nintendo's first Smash arcade game. So to not have it released ever for whatever reasons is is really strange. Um, it is. So. You have that coming out, I think. Yeah, I don't know how much it costs. What are these usually like? Seven ninety nine. Eh, all right, it's one hundred percent reasonable. Okay, it went up like six, but okay. All right, the, the second announcement though, which is also important, was about Sky Skipper. So Sky Skipper was an arcade game that Nintendo put out. It never came out here. Um, there was ten ten units were produced here, and they never put them out. The game didn't do well in Japan. Um, it was released in cocktail um it has cocktail normal arcade cabinet and i believe even cabaret cabinet in japan but it didn't do well a lot of them were converted to uh, popeye cabinets and has the same blue as yes my favorite fucking arcade cabinet is popeye it did get a atari 2600 release yes. in the u.s via parker brothers remember when i found that at your store i was like what the hell is this we years back i was like nintendo skyskipper on a yep. car i was like what the hell we get them in a few times and i mean at least back then they weren't going for anything but it's not one we saw very often it was uncommon i've maybe seen it like 10 times i mean if you, if you don't have an arcade game that people know about it when it comes out like whatever 81 82 why would why would kids have bought it back then right they didn't know what nintendo was necessarily i don't know a whole lot about it you fly a plane and you have to like rescue animals or something like that <laughs> Um, from what I know, there's different gameplay elements involved. It's not just it's yeah. not like just flying across. Um, I, the graphic style is similar to those other early Nintendo titles. The graphic which style is, is awesome. Yeah, it looks it's just like, like all like, that other stuff. Yeah, it's like hand drawn, like Popeye mm-hmm. sort of sprites. You know, that's the same. As I say, it's like this. It's like the Popeye style uh, of sort of animation and art. Um, I know someone tried to restore one. Uh, was it last year? They they basically. They let they went Nintendo America, Nintendo America has one, and they let them scan all the original uh, artwork, and it was still in pretty good shape, and the side art and everything, so that they had it on record. Supposedly, um, it was that arcade board that got dumped. Oh, oh for the one this Nintendo version America. too. Oh. Yeah, so the U.S. version is actually that arcade board. Oh, okay. Got dumped. Was it? What would be the difference? I guess. Who knows? I mean, we'll uh, see. But 
you know, English texts or whatever. whatever. I, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, like I said, like Skyscraper, <laughs> I, I just some, see that. I'll look it on YouTube right now because it, it's a game that doesn't get talked a lot. So that's why people will see this. Like, oh, what is this? So people might get it just because of that. Oh, it's the lost, the lost Nintendo game. You know. Um, I'll get it just because you don't. Any of these that are released by, uh, especially in the Nintendo series, it's fun because you just don't see the Nintendo arcade games out that that much. Most people know them just from the NES versions. So to actually play the originals is nice. It loads up with message. Wonder Kingdom is conquered by gorillas. Drop bombs on gorillas and knock them down. Touch and rescue all King's family by plane. That's see it. you again at airport. Okay. Sounds good. So, all right, let's go. It's not exactly English, but it's all right. <laughs> let's, let's go. I tried to play it on the 2600 and couldn't. Yeah. So you, you, you fly, you, you drop bombs on gorillas you can you can uh, go back and forth which i think is interesting it's a cute game oh yeah it's just a cute game looking good it's, uh, yeah you, you know I, yeah i i think this could this will sell okay just because we'll have people with a, with a weird cur- a curiosity about it and it's it's way different than the other early nintendo games at the time too so you, you have a, a semi a semi shooter would you call it a shooter i wouldn't call it a shooter it's not back to the future but I would not call this a shooter necessarily. It's not back. To, <laughs> nothing's back. Nothing is more of a shooter than Back to the Future. It's a goofy game. It's a very goofy game. You know. So all right. So it's just something they figured out wouldn't do well here. I don't think this would have done well in arcades at all here because it was just so different than anything else at the time. Like I said, it, it supposedly uh, didn't do very well in Japan. No. I mean, it's it, not. It's, it, not, a, it's it, not a space shooter. It's, it it's could. Not a, it could just be a bad game. I mean, it's oh, possible. oh no. It it could be a bit. Yes. Yeah. No. It could just be a bad game. No, just because it's Nintendo doesn't mean it's a good game. Yeah. And I'm a Nintendo fanboy. Um, there's a, sometimes there's a reason these games don't come out, you know, in various regions. You know, no, it, 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 but it's definitely original. It's something uh, probably to be be checked out at least at least if there's a demo, to, for, you know, before people decide to buy it for whatever bucks, eight bucks. It'll be the first time they're making money off Sky Skipper ever. Yeah, it sounds like they didn't make any money in the arcades really. And uh, it's cool that that Nintendo has a cabinet, and I've never seen a cabinet. Who would have one? No one. So, um, you know. So it's yeah, it's interesting. 